Ladies and gentlemen, uh, be welcome in the Royal Museum of Fine Arts of Belgium in Brussels, even uh, during this very special time of confinement. And um, I'm Joost van der Pabada. I am a senior curator for uh, the Department of Old Masters. And I have the pleasure to introduce you some of our highlights in the Old Master collection and to give you some proofs to their analysis. And so we will start with this uh, very famous painting, which is an oil sketch by Peter Paul Rubens. And um, you see uh, four heads of a black man. In fact, it's uh, one and the same black person who has been painted from different angles. And so uh, it's special, specially done for that because Rubens used them these sketches to integrate his head into several paintings. Uh, and in several compositions, so that it's very easy then to use one of these views to integrate it in several paintings. Um, there's a, a painting uh, that has always been um, uh, popular, and but I cannot um, let it be transported for loan because if you look at the back side, you will see that there's an inscription by a restorer in Cyrillic, dated 1877, and um, then, at that moment, the painting was in a very famous Russian collection, private collection, and then they have peeled off, taken off the panel, because the panel moves uh, under the influence of humidity and of temperature changes, and so they have then put a uh, canvas behind that. But the remedy is worse than the problem, because uh, the painting is now completely instable, it cannot strap but we have bought in 2017, uh, so my colleague is responsible for that, uh, David Delkasha, for 19th century paintings. He, um, we have acquired a, co a copy uh, of this painting by the famous painter and sculptor Constantin Meunier, uh, a sketch from the end of the 19th century. This painting has been always a subject of debate because for a hundred years uh, it was um, attributed to Van Dyck. It's only about 1980 with the uh, very important uh, study of uh, Julius Held about Rubens oil sketches and also by doing research in the Labo and with X-rays that uh, so the common uh, opinion is now that it is by Rubens. But there is another great debate going on recently, and that's about uh, this label. And I, I am responsible for this part of the collection and also for that label. And it reads uh, four studies of um, the head of a moor. I got all sorts of critique on that, and um, I have to say, um, I have already uh, published a, a more general approaches to this painting. Uh, to make clear to, to the public the different uh, elements in that painting that can be considered. And um, I will also dwell upon that. I was uh, fiercely attacked by Dutch colleagues before because they thought that more, uh, that it's not possible to use that anymore, that's too pejorative, and that they had to use the term um, uh, sketch of the head of an African. But I do not agree with that, and I will explain you why. I will take some um, um, literature with me, so if you have a moment. So, I'm back here, and you see that uh, this uh, painting has been discussed in the 200 masterworks, which is uh, which will now be re-edited, and I also have added in the new edition some comments on that painting. And moreover, um, this it is of course a, a publication for the general public, and uh, very popular, very good, I think. And then uh, in a series about art and finance, about the um, uh, relationship between economy, finance, and art. With the Association of European Public Banks, they also uh, gave some explanation. So, first of all, uh, why uh, do I not agree with people who want just to call this uh, the 
portrait or the sketch or the study head of uh, an African. Uh, well, we are here in an art history museum. It's about art. And I do not deny uh, the concerns, and I also find them very important about uh, black people and other people have comments on the, on the title. But there is also a lot of misunderstanding. And so I think that nuance and historical insight is important in this, and also artistic insight. First of all, I would like to deny that more and Moresco is the same. So Moresco, uh, as they use it uh, when attacking this title, is uh, in fact someone from the Islam in the Iberian Peninsula who was chased out of, of Spain by the Catholic uh, kings. So they, they did not like them. And so that was not nice, of course. But Moresco is not the same as Moor. A Moor is a person who was called like that because he was from Mauritania. And Mauritania was the first African country from the European side to be seen. So if you came from Europe, where you could meet a lot of black people. Moreover, um, there is also discussion about Moor as a servant of St. Nicholas in the Netherlands. Therefore, also, the Netherlands colleagues are very, very keen to try to decolonize, but also to uh, respond to that. And that also is quite strange because, uh, of course, he is uh, the servant of St. Nicholas, but Nicholas has, uh, of course, saved uh, children from slavery. But whatever, more and Moresco is not the same. Moreover, Rubens, um, when uh, we, we know that because there is um, there are inscriptions in this theoretical uh, book about the human figure by Rubens, which has been analyzed by many scholars, but also by Dr. Tina Mehang, and she discovered, for instance, that black people were associated um, by Rubens with uh, the antique, like the Hercules Fabulator, so an ideal sort of person who is nearer to the creation of God, who is older and nearer to the creation of God. Moreover, Dr. Elisa and McGrath have clearly illustrated that in the oeuvre of Rubens, um, a black person like that was referred to as an Ethiopian, and Ethiopians were seen in a positive way as being the first Christians. So, apart from that, uh, Rubens was much interested in that for an artistic reason, and uh, this artistic reason is already into 16th century um, theoretical treatises in Italy, and that is how to paint a dark a black skin, and that is seen as something very difficult to do, and so Rubens wanted to demonstrate that he was able to do that in a virtuoso sketch. Moreover, Rubens, when he was in Italy, at, in 1608, he was still there in Rome, um, and the 6th of January, which was the Feast of Epiphany, uh, there was an ambassador from the uh, uh, Kingdom of the Congo, a black person, who was ambassador to the Vatican, who died. And this was seen as a very, very bad sign. So Rubens knew of that, and it is very telling uh, that there was a black person from the Kingdom of Congo who was ambassador so high end, so not at all slave. So there was slavery, of course, in the 17th century. I do not deny it, but, but of course, this is not the sort of contact that Rubens had with black people in this respect. So therefore, um, in hindsight, one can have all sorts of opinions about that. They also had American uh, visitors who have all sorts of comments because in the past it was called the head of a Negro, which is completely seen as negative as a term. And also you have the whole history of course of Leopold II and the Congo. Um, there has been instrumentalization of this when in 1957, I have commented on that, uh, when the National Bank of Belgium existed for 100 years, then they made uh, here, they printed money with on one side the sketch and on the other side the old settings. So they, they made so, uh, such uh, banknotes in 1957 in Belgium. This, of course, I don't think that is the best thing to do, especially uh, because um, the colonization of Congo is also uh, the subject of much debate. Nevertheless, I find that very important on one side to recognize uh, 
that there are all sorts of issues um, uh, with slavery, with the history of black people, and so on and so forth, that we have to be very uh, open to discussion. Uh, to that. And also the museum will do its very best as the director has informed me. Uh, to make more uh, a presentation about this painting, so we have to put everything uh, more clearly to the fore so that it can be discussed. But what I deplore is to be immediately attacked um, with, before I can explain myself. And so also that an exhibition like there was in Antwerp, for which I collaborated uh, on uh, Black is Beautiful, that one cannot say that Black is Beautiful. So I defend um, discussion. I am not so on the side of political correctness because I find that this leads to a blocking of the real uh, discussion. And I also uh, refuse to uh, deny or to go compromise to some historical facts without denying other very, very bad negative historical facts. So I will be very... Uh, it would, that would be my aim, uh, that there would be an open and uh, wide kind of discussion about the painting, and that in the end it is still important that it is an artwork, that it has an also, and in the first place, uh, art, an art-driven motivation. And so for Rubens, this, driven, this motivation was to provide um, studies for his uh, bigger uh, paintings, and also on the other hand, to render black skin and also to pay honor to the first Christians of Africa. Thank you.